y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 7 and I am just going to do a 15 month post-op update. People like to hear what goes on month to month and so I'll just share it with you. So this month I got sick. I wasn't diagnosed with COVID. I had like blisters down my throat, no fever, like none of that stuff. I just didn't feel very good and I couldn't talk and things like that. And so in November, so from November 9th to December 9th, I lost about 10 pounds. I'm in the 140s now, so I broke that stall of um, being in the 150s. I was in the 150s for since July, July, August six months. <laughs> I wanted to get out of that so bad and I tried literally everything and the only thing that worked was getting sick. <laughs> so I was sick. I stayed on top of my vitamins and drinking water, eating. I did not eat much during the two weeks of not feeling well. Um, I took this medicine that they gave me to get rid of the blisters in my throat and stuff like that. And it uh, made me very nauseous. So smelling food, soup, anything like that just made me not feel very good. And I worked out and stuff um, as much as I could. I was so weak and tired and things like that that like I would do a 20 minute cardio or something and I wouldn't be down for the count for like three days and I realized like I'm gonna have to just put all my energy into taking care of myself taking care of my daughter and just getting it done uh and that's all I had energy to do for about uh, three and a half weeks total like I got well and all my symptoms my throat and all that went away in about seven days not everything else and then during that month, I lost my great grandma. She passed away. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that sent us prayers and let us know that you guys were praying for us because it meant a lot. I'm not going to get emotional. Ugh, ignore me. Anyway, we miss her a lot and thank you. Uh, the holidays are different, to say the least. Um, what else? I tried, a, like, um, a dessert for the first time at Thanksgiving. And you know what really just sucks is that, uh, it doesn't hurt to eat bad things. <laughs> post-op VSG and I I always did this mental check with myself like my first year that it would hurt too bad to eat those foods because for a long time I mean your restriction and stuff it definitely is hard to eat any of those things so it just sucks that they go down so smooth so easy it doesn't hurt you can eat a lot of it I didn't. I kept my portion of my pie tiny. Like, when I say a sliver, I mean a legit sliver of pie. And then I tried a cookie yesterday. The cookie was about this big. And I didn't, I am like, no. I'm stopping myself and cutting myself off there because I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I might take you guys along. We'll see what he says, but they're going to like measure my skin, my loose skin and whatnot. Everyone asks about that on Instagram a lot. I don't post revealing pictures and stuff like um, a lot of weight loss accounts do because I don't want people to see my body like that. I don't even wear like a two-piece swimsuit, so I'm not gonna do like the whole sports bra and workout pants thing. I'm just not. That's not who I am and I uh, respect myself. Not saying that other women don't respect themselves, but for me, if I did that, that would be lowering who I am. And I don't want to do that on 
for the sake of likes or followers or anything like that. I want my community of people to be legit and encourage each other and just pray for one another, lift each other up. I don't need all that other stuff, and if I ever get married one day, I don't want my husband's wife to be all over the internet, like, look at my goods, you know? So, anyways, my skin. Yeah, it's there. My midsection is where I held all of my weight, pretty much, when I was obese, so my lower back really bothers me, and not bothers me as in the way it looks, not that, like, uh, it's heavy, and it hurts a lot of times sitting in the floor for too long or sitting on a hard surface for too long or anything like that genuinely hurts so bad um just walking around if I don't have compression things on and like we go to the store for a long time or something like that just like the weight of the loose skin hurts really bad so that's what we're gonna go over in my doctor's appointment, we're also going to talk about, I have some other questions I want to ask him just where I should be. I'm going to meet with my nutritionist and ask what my macros need to look like, if she could put me on a plan um, just to reach my goals for the last 16 pounds that I have to lose or less than that now. I don't know. 12 pounds. Because I... I want to do it healthy. I want this to be sustainable. I want to reach my goal weight, maintain it, and just live life from there, you know, and learn how to eat like a 135 pound woman does. And all of this to say, my 15, my 15th month was really, really hard. Um, when they tell you life is going to throw all kinds of things at you after surgery, 2020 did just that for me and I pray this I don't pray this kind of year on anybody ever not even my worst enemy but um yeah it was a hard month I wish I could say my workouts and all that were there but no it wasn't my family my parents had COVID uh, my none of my siblings got it my daughter didn't get it none of those things so Thank God for that, and I thank God that my family is well, my parents are doing better, um, and once again, thank you guys for everything you did when my great-grandma passed away. One of our last conversations that was normal before, like, she went into a different mental state, she just kept telling me how proud she was of me, but she didn't recognize me because I had lost so much weight. So, I will keep those memories forever. Ugh. And I am looking forward to Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. I know this is awkward, like, emotional Sally over here, but, uh, this was a terrible month. And I am praying for everyone who has dealt with loss or anything. Thank you all. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. I would appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram at jordan 2 underscores Lee. And be looking for Vlogmas Day 8. It will be fun and happy. And you'll get some clips from going to the doctor with me. And maybe you'll get to meet him. I don't know. He's pretty funny. Um... It has a great personality, but we'll see what he says. I don't know if he'll be up for that. Uh, but yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone!